what is going on you guys i'm your host stacy cole morgan and you are listening to the morgan man sports podcast here on spotify google podcast good part hq or wherever you find your preferred podcasts ladies and gentlemen today we are talking about the call of duty league major two week four online qualifiers happening this weekend so without any further delay let's go to get straight into today's action The following is a presentation of the Belly Up Sports Media Network. Welcome to the Morgan Man Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Stacy Cole Morgan. Here on the Morgan Man Sports Podcast, we talk Atlanta Falcons news, pre-game predictions, and all other news surrounding the Atlanta Falcons. Touchdown, Atlanta! Also on the podcast, we talk Call of Duty League, esports covering roster mania, major predictions, COD champs, player trades, and much more to get you ready for every single CDL weekend. Scuff goes through, and Scuff stands with the 101 in optic with the reverse sweep. If that sounds good with you, put on your Falcons jersey, grab your gaming headset, and let's get the show started. guys so this is going to be a very short sweet and simple podcast and please let me explain why just right quick so last week i recorded my podcast like normal talking about the atlanta falcons and call of duty league side of things but this week right here you know this has already been recorded way ahead of time the same week actually i recorded from you know last friday and the reason why is because at my everyday job you know we have a very big event coming up it's called like a truckload sale where everybody gets on like this trailer and buy, buys like frozen meats and everything off the trailer. It's like it's some sort of like gimmick that they came up with. But regardless, I'll be working a crap ton of hours that week. But I'm still thinking of you guys and I wanted to record a podcast talking at least something. So what better topic to talk about is the Call of Duty League right now for this podcast that it's going to be very short so getting into things so there's will be no cdo point standings no nothing just for this week's episode right here because again i'll be working a crap ton of hours this week right here and well from what when you're hearing this podcast everything on uh what is it march 8th i believe it is yes march 8th which is today you're listening to this i'll be done work probably maybe 50 60 hours already just on friday and then probably the the whole week probably 72 hours worked (laughs) so it's gonna be a long one so of course i'm clueless to know what results happened from last weekend i'm just basing everything off of what i currently know so just do please keep that in mind so friday march 8th at 3 p.m eastern you got the boston breach taking on off to texas same days right here you got the atlanta phase taking on the los angeles thieves and finally on your main event for friday you got the carolina royal ravens taking on the los angeles gorillas saturday march 9th you have the following matches the los angeles gorillas taking on the new york subliners Minnesota Rocker taking on Seattle Surge. And finally, in the main event, Saturday, March 9th, you got the Atlanta Phase taking on the Boston Breach. Sunday, March 10th, you got the Los Angeles Thieves taking on the Vegas Legion. Carolina Royal Ravens taking on the Miami Heretics. And finally, in the main event for Sunday, March 10th at 6 p.m. Eastern, this is going to be a banger. Optic Texas taking on Toronto Ultra. These are absolute main event matches right here, guys. So the top three matches to look out forward to this weekend is Optic Texas taking on the Toronto Ultra. Definitely, this is your top four conversation right here. Who is going to be the biggest upsetter of them all? Is it going to be Toronto or is it going to be Optic? That's what I'm looking forward to. Because Toronto, they've been on a roll here lately. But also... Optic Texas has been as well. So these two teams definitely colliding with each other. 
It's going to be very scary. I'm thinking it's going to come down to Toronto winning this in a 3-2 fashion over Optic. Because I just don't think Optic has got it this year. Yes, they're winning against teams like the Carolina Royal Ravens, Seattle Surges, Boston Breaches, Vegas Legions, whatever. But them teams, they're at the bottom of the barrel. This is really kind of be going to be kind of their first test, I think. They failed their very first one, actually, against the Atlanta Faze in a 3-1, 3-2 fashion right in there. So Faze has definitely got Optic's number. But Toronto Ultra is going to be different because they are better than the Atlanta Faze right now at, at, at this current stage of the CDO season. So that's your first matchup to look out forward to. Next, guys, honestly, I'm going to have to sit here and say that just looking at things, the Atlanta phase, and well, no, because that's, that's a bottom tier team. I'm going to look at the Carolina Royal Ravens against the Los Angeles Gorillas. Carolina Royal Ravens definitely need to start getting some wins. And what better way to start is against the Gorillas who's been currently on a losing streak. That that would be my situation right there. And I would take the the Royal Ravens in a 3-1 fashion over the Gorillas. The Gorillas would be a better team if they just slow down. Slow down, take their time, stop shooting yourself in the foot because there's a lot of mistakes happening for the Gorillas, a.k.a. team kills, m- Miss cues, you know, missed objectives, whatever the case may be. And those small little mis- mistakes are costing the gorillas a lot of series, especially in the response, like hard point and control. It's costing them a lot of mistakes. They're a good S and D team, but still, even then, they're missing a lot of miss cues right there. And if they could fix that, they could turn their season around and being the positive, but for right now, I'm looking at the Carolina Royal Ravens as the ultimate victor in this series in 3-1 fashion. And your third and final match to look forward to, guys, is the Minnesota Rocker taking on the Seattle Surge. I look at this series right here and think to myself, okay, the Rocker and Surge has definitely had a history against one another, but who's going to come out on top? I believe it's going to be the Minnesota Rocker. They've definitely been on a roll here lately. And I just don't think that's going to change until we hit the major two tournament. And then they'll go into like loser's bracket or, you know, whatever the case may be. But looking at this right here, I'm going to say the Rocker is going to win this one 3-2. I think Surge is definitely going to get them a run for their money. I believe that they're actually going to go up 2-0. And then Rocker is going to have a fire lit up under the ass and just reverse sweep Seattle Surge tremendously. I believe that's what's going to happen, at least, in my my honest opinion. So, guys, that was your top three matches right there, and that was your entire match list for this week of the major two week four online qualifiers. It's going to be a banger right here, guys. And then, of course, next week will be the very last week of online qualifiers before we get into the actual major two tournament. So guys, I sure hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like button wherever you are listening. iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or wherever you find your preferred podcast. But until then, I, Kamorgan, Morgan, will catch you all later. Peace. Thank you for listening to this Belly Up Sports Podcast Network product. Some said we go belly up, so we made it our name. And we're still here. <laughs>